comfy? My roommate has to get comfy while I film. <laughs> Alright, I'm Nathan. I am a sophomore here at Biola. I am a Bible Theology and Ministry major with a concentration in Christian Ministries. I'd like to just present that and say I'm a Christian Ministries major. That's easier, it's shorter. You heard the full title, it sounds more professional. That'll definitely go on the resume. But I do want to tell you why I chose my major. So it kind of starts a little bit about who I am. Uh, I was saved at an early age and I grew up in the church. In second grade, I was actually helping serve. Um, my mom was in charge of the two and three year olds at my church and I would, you know, be with her when she was teaching and I'd pass out snacks and play with the little kiddos and do all that. And we actually just transitioned from a building to meeting in a high school. And as a second grader, I was like helping move chairs as much as I could and cleaning desks. And I'm actually really good at setting up the, the tables that you see at events because I've been doing it since second grade. But I was just involved in ministry from an early age. As I got older, uh, I kind of didn't like it. I grew jaded towards it, and that's because it felt like something I had to do. It felt like something that was required. And so it became less about, hey, I want to serve your people, God. I want to do this so that other people can see your glory, and more about, oh, I have to do this. It's Sunday. I got to wake up a little earlier and put and just go to work. Funny enough, that's literally from second to like, seventh eighth grade and um yeah and then ninth grade i got i actually started to understand what it meant to be saved i grew tired of putting on the facade of being a person at church like a certain type of person at church being a certain type of person at school and a certain type of person at home and in ninth grade is when i i like to say i truly surrender to christ and be like hey i want to be yours and that's it um so that's when that changed and slowly but surely my heart was softening towards serving the Lord and I was by no means perfect in high school but that's when I started being open to the fact that Christ is someone who's worth sharing and um and then sophomore and junior year uh kind of came back a little back slid a bit not in the sense of not being a Christian just more of like eh, when I go to college I am not going to be a pastor I was like I'm not going to be a pastor that's the last thing I'm doing I'm either going to go into theater or marketing and that was my plan and I kind of carried that and then uh, senior year went on a mission trip to Los Angeles the last thing I wanted to do was just go an hour and a half away on a mission trip I wanted to go to somewhere far but we couldn't do it so we just ended up going to LA and I begrudgingly went but slowly but surely the theme of that mission trip uh, kind of softened my heart even more so because that theme of the mission trip was just unlearning distance and the whole purpose of it was to see people for who they are see people as people you know not as the titles we like to put on them and if you've ever been to LA there's a lot of people facing homelessness my heart had never been truly broken like Christ's heart has been broken until I went on that mission trip because I saw lost people who were trying to hide that they were lost and I can't imagine having an injury and trying to hide it I can't imagine having an injury and not going to someone to have it healed or not knowing there is someone who can heal it. And so that's when I was spoken to and I realized that God wanted me to be someone who says, hey, there's a healer out there. You don't have to hide. Um, that's when it hit me that people went through what I went through, of being tired of putting up a facade. Even people who are in the worst of circumstances were having a hard time admitting they were lost and I wanted to be someone who could say hey it's okay you're lost because there's someone who will welcome you into their home and that's Jesus and I remember clearly God speaking to me I didn't put you in ministry for you to just throw it all away at the end of that mission trip if you don't know you don't have your phone on the mission trip um, at least if you're doing it right I'm just kidding um, but I got my phone back first thing I did was went on Instagram and the first that I got was for Biola University Christian Ministries as the major and that's when I said that's what I'm doing and that's where I am now and I love it so much and that's a little bit about me.